I know that I look a mess right now. We're about to remedy that. I just edited two videos today because tomorrow I am gonna go shopping and get my nails fixed finally to some Christmas nails. <clears throat> and so I knew I wouldn't have time to edit and I really prefer that they go up at nine. It really helps to keep me on schedule if I have something set to go up at a certain time. And like, that's my goal. Like, I'm like, I have to have this up and ready by nine, so. But I actually took the weekend off of vlogging. I, well, no, that's not true. I took Sunday off vlogging. Saturday I vlogged while I was with my grandfather and you've seen that vlog, that was fun. And so I took Sunday off and then I took yesterday off because I don't know, I didn't really do anything. And um, in my head, it felt like a good idea to start getting caught up with Vlogmas because I was so many days behind. But now I'm like not, so ready to get back into the groove of vlogging every day and then editing at night. So I will work on that. Anyways, just wanted to say good morning. I'm gonna straighten my hair because I feel more put together when my hair is straightened. And I washed it yesterday, so I know that it will be good for like a couple days. I'm working kind of weird hours this week because some stuff happened with my nanny family and we're, I'm just kind of working when she needs me and doing what she needs me to do today. She's sending me on a Costco trip. It's funny because she like hates going to Costco and I love Costco. I'm like, of course I'll go to Costco for you. Um, it was a little alarming the first time I spent like 400 something dollars using the list she gave me and I was like, and then she was like, oh, that's really good. I always spend way more than that. But I guess when you have a family of six, it makes sense that um, you would spend a lot of money. And like a place like Costco makes so much more sense for her than it does for someone like me who is one person and lives with only one other person. So I might, while I'm there, look and see if there's anything I wanna grab for my family Christmas, just because I know that we are doing Christmas day, we're gonna have my family, which is five people, and then my sister's boyfriend and my grandfather. So it's seven people, and usually, like day to day, my mom cooks for three. So I thought it would just be nice if I like could bring a few things. And then the day after Christmas, we're going to my aunt and uncle's and celebrating with them. It's the same people that we did Thanksgiving with. So, <clears throat> so I thought if I just saw anything, that was nice, or if I like, um, you know, wanted to get like a Christmas gift or something, then I would do that. But I am gonna run to Costco for her. And she's like, she's always like, do what you need to do. Like, it's so weird when I like go run an errand, she's like, oh, this coffee shop is around there if you wanna grab a coffee. And I just like feel so weird on somebody else's time, like going to do something for me. It's not the same at Costco because I'm doing something for her and just it so happens that kind of is nice for me too. So we'll see if I find anything. It's also weird because after I go to Costco, then I'm going back to her house for a while. So I'm like, um, I don't like, then do I just put the food that if it needs to be refrigerated? Do I put it in her fridge or like, you know, what really happens? But anyways, we'll see what I get. If not, I do have this weekend that I can go to Costco. Um, I might go Saturday, see if my roommate wants to come. Maybe that's a better plan. But anyways, five minutes later, I'm just introing this clip, saying hi. But anyways, I hope that you all are having a great day. I know this is kind of a late start. It's 11 and you know, six of the hours I'm about to spend are gonna be nannying. So it's not a ton of content for you guys. But I will film tonight. I have a few things that I wanna film. I didn't end up filming a haul of things that were coming in because a lot of them were my sister's and my sister's boyfriends. And I think I put in one of the hauls that I'd already filmed, I took out some of the footage because when I called her and I was like, hey, like I know you don't watch my videos, but don't watch this one because it has gifts in it. She was like, oh, I just like, subscribed and like wanted to get notifications so I could follow your vlogmas and I was like oh and so obviously I am not going to show her presents because I don't want her to see them so when we moved in there was a Wendy's and a Zaxby's like right down the hill from my apartment like it might take me five minutes to walk there if I went out the office door it would take me two 
And they both shut down during COVID, which was tragic because, well, it was good for my health. It was tragic for my happiness because it was such an easy thing to grab on the way home. And I'm having really mixed feelings about straightening my hair because it actually like kind of looks decent, curly, like the way that it curled. But I know that it will last approximately five seconds. And that is what has me straightening it anyway. <clears throat> And people that don't have curly hair don't understand. They're like, why don't you sh like why don't you brush your hair? My nanny kids ask me that all the time. And I'm like, because it looked like this little curly cuteness. And then when I brush it, it looks like nothing. It looks like I tried to straighten it and failed. But anyways, back to Wendy's and Zaxby's. So they closed during COVID and they started doing um, construction around Wendy's. Like they're making it something and me and my roommate for like the longest time we're like what is it gonna be I just want to know what it's gonna be like oh my gosh and so the other day I went and drove into the little area and I was like there should be a sign on the door or something that's gonna say what it's gonna be and it's gonna be a Duncan which again awful for my health and great for my happiness um so catch me getting a Duncan coffee every single day as I go to work Oops. Um, and nothing is set yet to be, to go where the Zaxby's goes, but I really just, it's just the only convenient thing. The only other thing we have on this side of the road is Cheeseburger Bobby's, which I'm not like a super big burger person. So I just want a fast food restaurant to go there, if I'm being honest. Something easy, something quick. Um, but I guess for now it's good that it's not. I don't know how long this Duncan's gonna take. Once I saw that it was Duncan, I was just so excited and I just called Ellie and got distracted. But I'm sure that if I go back and look at that sheet, it will say like a date that they're hoping to like open, you know? They've just been working like outside and kind of changing a little bit of the layout, but it's a small, like it's a small building. So it shouldn't take long or much. And I'm excited. I love Duncan coffee love Duncan. So on, I think it was Sunday, Ellie called me and she was like on her way home. Yeah, it was Sunday on her way home from her parents' house. And she was like, do you want Duncan? And I was like, of course I want Duncan. And so I gave her my order, which if you're interested is a gingerbread ice latte with almond milk. Um, and it is delicious. And this one actually is like the thickest one I've ever had, which sounds gross, but it's so good. But anyways, so she came home and I had my latte and then she had gotten an iced coffee and she didn't like the iced coffee. Luckily, she gets almond milk too because if it was regular milk, I wouldn't have been able to steal it. But she like started to pour it down the drain and I was like, ah, ah, ah. And so she saved like half of it and I just put it in the fridge and then I didn't finish mine. I had about half left. I've been drinking it this morning, but I had about half left. I'm not 100% sure how great that idea is but I stuck them both in the fridge and for the past three days I've had Duncan because I had it the day she bought it I had her leftovers yesterday and then I'm having my leftovers today and it still tastes delicious and it's all that I have ever needed so I have no regrets but it was pretty great because the closest Duncan to us is not actually like very convenient to get to but yeah there are some updates for the past few days I really want to do like a um Q&A type thing with my sister. I want to do something with her. I don't know if I want to do like a Q&A. She's not the kind of person who would do like a truth or drink with me. So I don't know if we'll do that or like some kind of different challenge. I need to look into that and see what she would be up for. But I am going to do my makeup really quick and then we will be on our way to work. Okay, so I ran by my nanny family's house and got the Costco list and now I am actually almost at Arby's. I realized on my way here that it was noon and that I didn't eat lunch. I'm sorry that this lighting is like horrendous. There we go. So my options were to eat at 12.30 now or like 2.30 after going to Costco in December. So I decided that I was gonna eat now. I just honestly didn't think about it until I was on the way here and I was like, crap. 
So I'm on my way to Arby's because my nanny family lives in like downtown Atlanta. And so it was either fast food or like go in somewhere, have to park in a tiny spot or in a garage and like it be super busy because it's 1215. Like it just did not sound ideal in any, no matter which way I spun it, didn't sound ideal. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, eat fast food and I'm sorry about it um because I thought for like five seconds that I would go get a salad and then I was like thinking like chopped or something but I was like imagine how busy and annoying that's gonna be at 12 30 in the afternoon in downtown Atlanta except I'm also annoyed because I just pulled up to Arby's and <laughs> they don't have a drive through you have to go inside everywhere in Atlanta. They don't have room for drive throughs here. Also, this box is one of my mom's gifts and it's really heavy. So I am just going to leave it in here and wrap it at my parents' house because I'm not gonna bring this up three flights of stairs just to wrap it to then bring it down three flights of stairs. Just doesn't make sense to me. I don't think I showed these actually. I ordered these off jane.com and they're little like Christmassy uh, masks. And so I'm gonna wear one of these. They're a really soft fabric too. I would try to link them, but I'm not sure I can link anything from Jane. And also they took forever to come. So if you ordered them by now, you wouldn't get them by Christmas. Okay, also, ooh, hi. Um, just popping on here, there are these things on Amazon. Oh, my hair. There are these things on Amazon and they are like condiment holders for your car. And I'm gonna order them right now because I'm thinking about how I'm gonna have my honey mustard and eat all this and I don't really know. I'll probably just have to wait and eat it in the Costco parking lot, which is tragic. Anyway, best fried. Welcome to another segment of Cooking with Ellie. Actually, I think it's the first segment of Cooking with Ellie. <laughs> But if you saw, Jacqueline Hill posted, what is this called? Crunch wrap. A crunch wrap recipe. And Ellie has perfected it while I was gone. <laughs> sort of. So we're gonna watch her make it. Maybe in speed mode so she doesn't have to talk you through it. Yeah. Not tell Jax is playing interested in me talking to my camera Whoa! I am just ending off the vlog from yesterday because after Ellie made me that crunch wrap which was so good my nose is so runny I've got to have an emergency when I get home but um, I will link Jacqueline Hill's video on how she makes it because that's what Ellie followed and it was so yum so 10 out of 10 but after that we watched um 
Love Island and we watched Love Island UK because it's just better than the American one. And um, we got sucked in. There's like a portion of it where they're like separated and all these new people come in and you have to decide if you're gonna recouple or stay. Drama, obviously. And we got sucked in and they're an hour each and we watched like three episodes or something. And then it was 10.45 and I was like, I've gotta go to bed. So I literally ran Jack's outside and then got in bed and was out. This jacket was actually my grandmother's and it is like the warmest thing I've ever owned in my whole life. So 10 out of 10, thank you grandma, I love you. So anyways, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas.